Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3! I'm Shirohime, and we're here at Doria's house, we're about to leave. And we don't really have any clues as to where to go next, but we should get one pretty soon. I don't know if we have to fight things out here or not. Whoa, what the- Squeak, squeak! Whoa, whoa, hold it there. Or hold it right there. Just where do you think you're going? What? Dude, what do we do? He's the one who ran into us. You encountered the squeaks. Oh my god, you guys, it's Elvis Mouse. <laughs> wow, what the hell? Well, wow, let's dive right in. Wow, that was <laughs> that was not a problem at all. Okay, well, I guess he thought he was a big cheese, and he wasn't. I know, I know, lame joke, whatever. Humbly apologize for my rude, egotistical attitude despite being so weak. Well, uh, at least he apologized, I guess. Back on the highway, I was known as the hippest cat around. But now I'm just a pathetic excuse of a mouse. All the girls dug me, but I'm definitely no fighter. But you help me remember who I really am. I wonder if my wife and seven kids I left on the highway are doing okay. Whoa, I'm suddenly feeling homesick now. I'm going back. Yeah, I'm going back. Back to Hogwarts? Gotta get back to Hog- Okay, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, dude, I'm heading back home now. Watch out for the mole crickets if you keep going east. Okay, there's our clue. We gotta go east. Again, so sorry. So... The, the mouse on the highway who lost her seven kids that we had to go find. That's her husband, apparently. <laughs> I love how they have little, uh, tie-ins like that. Oh, look! Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you kept true to your promise and finally came to the mole cricket hole, huh? Well, we didn't exactly intend to, but... It's me, it's me! Don't you recognize- Oh, dude, is that the one from chapter one at the very beginning of the game? I'm the mole cricket you fought at Alex's place when you were play fighting with the Drogos as a little kid. I've been training for this day all these years. What was he like, big buff mole cricket now? Okay, let's go. The time to battle has come. Follow me. This advances the plot, so yes, you want to do it. You actually can go do something else first, but I'm gonna do this because I want to. And I think this is the way you're supposed to do it. Boy, we sure are taking our time. I'd love to run. <laughs> that dude up there is just watching us like, there's a bunch of- there's kids and a dog following a mole cricket. What the hell is going on here? Of course, you know with chimeras and everything running around, I guess it wouldn't look that strange after all. <laughs> here it is. This is where you and me are gonna fight it out. This is where my right hand will be raised into the air when I'm declared the winner. This is also where you're gonna hit the ground with a thud. This is the place, Mole Cricket Hole. I'll widen the hole a bit for you to fit through. Come on! Whoa! Boy, he sure widened that a heck of a lot. I'm gonna save here. Because why not? Oh, these frogs. They've been helping us throughout the entire game. Whoa. Whoa, this- this- This kind of path reminds me of, uh, Earthbound. What the hell is this? Something that looks like a lotus root is blocking the path. It looks like a dude with a mustache. Am I the only one who sees that? Well, I guess we can't go that way, so we'll run this way. Hello, who are you? We're mole crickets. We dig holes and live in them. We're exceptionally proud. Okay. More lotus roots. I guess we can't get by those. Do we have to go up, maybe? Hello! Oh, uh, okay. Oh, is this the one? Oh, glad to see you didn't wimp out on me. This here is our elder. I've asked him to be the judge of our match today. If you try to run away or do anything cheap, neither of us will sit by quietly. Just so you know. Anyways, I've got special rules for our match. If by some chance an outcome isn't reached after 10 minutes have passed, we'll go to overtime, which will last 5 more minutes. If a conclusion still isn't reached after that, our elder will decide who the winner is. 
Elder, is anything you'd like to add? Wait, you folks are truly seriously going to fight him? What does he become like super... Oh boy. Take my advice. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is run away. Yeah, I think we'll take our chances. I mean, why not? But you insist on it? In that case, I won't stop you. Ready to do this thing? Nah. Yes, 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 we are. Alright, I guess I have... guess you have no care for your own life. The bell has rung. Well, it's three against one. I mean, we gotta have a pretty good chance here, right? Are you serious? <laughs> Boy, that's gotta be embarrassing for him. <laughs> He's been training all these years and he can't do it. Too experience. <laughs> Oh boy, that's enough, that's enough, we give up! To think that such a mighty mole cricket warrior could be so easily defeated. Perhaps mole crickets aren't so powerful after all. You think? I'll mediate on what else this means at a later time. Or meditate. Mediate, what the hell. Sorry I can't read, but for now the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is to be on good terms with you. So let's be friends. Is there anything you need? Um... Actually, yeah. You know where the needles stealing away the dark dragon are? We're looking for them. We mole crickets aren't very knowledgeable creatures. But call it a hunch, I think there could be a clue to those mysterious objects to these mysterious objects on the mountain on the far end of this mole cricket hole. I figure that's what the elder wants to say too. He's hard to read sometimes though. Yes, I agree. The mountain. Go through this mole cricket hole and head up the mountain. I'm certain that's what you must do. Mountain, huh? Well, we don't have any other leads to follow up on, so let's check it out. Oh, hey, you guys don't know anything about the Dark Dragon itself, do you? Sadly, we don't. We really are just mole crickets. Even though he's our elder, he's still just a mole cricket, too. We have no real strength at all. It's a pity. The very least we can do is help you by eating the lotus roots blocking your way and other things like that. Wow, a dragon. I bet it's really incredible. It must be incredible indeed. I've learned so much today. A dragon that sleeps underground, needles that seal it away, us being surprisingly weak. Living a long life is worth it. You suppose you could tell us mole crickets about even more things? Nah. Yeah, we could, but hopefully not right now. Thanks. We'll try not to be too much of a bother. So please raise us to be great. To start off, I'm thinking of starting a... Starting a business in our own unique mole cricket way. Please stop by if you ever happen to see us. Oh yeah, if you're gonna go through this mole cricket hole, you should take my little bro with you. He's little, but he's a tough one. You can treat him just like any other item. <laughs> That's another throwback to Earthbound, the exit mice. Where you could treat them like a, like a... <laughs> and they, they said the same thing too. The lady said, you know, my son's a tough one. You can treat him like one of your items. Hey, little bro, come here. Man, I just realized these guys have talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. Receive the mole cricket, brother. Okay, can we get on with this? If you get lost in this mole cricket hole, just ask my little bro for help and he'll bring you straight back here. Right, little bro? Come on, bro, get your act together. The bad news is he's kind of lame and hates the sunlight more than anything else in the world. So be careful, you can't take him with you outside the mole cricket hole. Right, little bro? Okay, so I think we have to go this way. <laughs> now they show up and- <laughs> Dude, that thing's face changes when they go at it! Oh my god, that's actually kind of creepy. I'll give you an unbelievably accurate yet unhelpful map. Uh-oh. Unbelievably accurate yet help unhelpful. Oh my god! Holy shit! Holy shit! Wah! This mole cricket hole is really big, you know. You're gonna get bored fast if you don't do pointless chit chat with us. Um, dude, you don't look like a mole cricket. Oh, <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> well, it's not a frog, it's like a mole cricket frog in disguise? I don't know. He's claiming to be a frog? Okay. Mole crickets know everything, just about everything ever. Like how to dig holes and how to win fights. 
Well, you're not very good at winning fights, sorry to say. How the hell do we get through here? There's a piece of information you learn from one of these guys that's really important. Maybe it's one of these guys? You wanna know what's on the other end of this small cricket hole? Everything over there is mysterious for some reason. I'm not brave at all, so I'm too scared to go. Okay. If there's a turn, turn, even if you don't want to. Do that and you'll eventually reach the other end of this mole cricket hole. Have faith in yourself and proceed not straight ahead. Time for another song. It's a twisty, turny road. But it's not the path I chose. But don't complain, just grin and bear it. As you go down that twisty, turny road. It's not the path I chose. <laughs> Oh, come on, shut up. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Okay, so we turn. Turn. This is actually what you need to do. Whenever you can turn, you turn. If you do that, you will eventually make it. I'm gonna make you guys go through this, because I'm going through it. Turn here. Turn here. Turn. 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 Go down there, damn it. Turn. 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 So, Halloween's coming up pretty soon. Are you guys like high school level and going trick-or-treating and stuff, or... Okay, we don't want to go straight. You guys going trick-or-treating or handing out candy, etc, etc? I'll just be handing out candy like I do most years. Oh, my dog doesn't try to... Okay, wait, okay. Here, we don't want to go... Okay, turn. Turn. Okay, I think this is the right way. I'm hoping my dog doesn't try to tear kids to pieces. He does not like anyone outside of our family, it seems like almost. There's a few exceptions, but very few. Most people don't even want to come visit here because they're afraid of my dog. I don't know what he has against other people, but... Oh well. I know, I know, I should like be trying to train him. I have, but he's not like, you know, listening. I think I've been taking every turn I need to take. Okay, we don't want to go straight, we want to turn. I'm sorry, this is a really boring episode because of this problem. <laughs> but yeah. Turn, turn, okay. Oh good, I think we're getting somewhere. I think. I think this is a good sign, I think. So if you guys are dressing up for Halloween, what are you going to dress as? I'm just curious. This is pointless, we could have just gone up that way. But whatever, I'm doing what they said. I don't think I'm actually gonna dress up. If I still have my, uh, Fakir wig, <laughs> I'd dress up like Fakir just for the hell of it. Maybe I could scare kids away with by glaring at them or something. Whoa. Wait, what? Okay, we don't want to go straight, so we want to go up, I think? That was a little confusing, but I think this is the right way. Please tell me I didn't make a wrong turn. That would be terrible. Yay! Oh my god! It's the snowman music from Earthbound, which is like one of my favorite themes ever! Well, I guess this is where we part ways. I don't have a name, but remember me sometimes as being a pretty cool guy, okay? Sure. Thanks a lot. Even though we didn't actually use you for anything. Oh, I love this music! I'm not gonna hum with it because apparently this is just a little bit off with, uh... With my, uh... Audio? I'm not sure why, but I just noticed when I rewatched that Chimera video from a while ago. That, uh, when I freaked out over the- over finding the ultimate Chimera in that room or whatever. It was apparently just a little bit slow on the audio, so I actually freaked out before you guys saw it. I'm telling you, it, it was right for me, I don't know why it lags a little bit. But anyways, welcome! I'm not surprised anyone would come to such a cold place. Hmm, that kind of sounds like home to me. Why would any- whoa, what the- That was awkward. <laughs> Ten yeti suddenly attacked. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. 
These guys are snow, right? So, I have a chance to use fire for a change. Holy ow! Wow, 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 get rid of that thing. Holy crap. Hard kind of bad. They hit kind of hard. I'm just gonna be a little safe here because I can. Because I should. <laughs> uh, he can take it off. I think he'll be okay. Hope I don't regret that. Whoa! Another new enemy. What is this? A chili dog. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay, he's not too bad. I want the combo again. Ooh. I'm not gonna bother cutting anything out at this point because we're almost done. Ooh, double turkey. Almost done with this episode, I think. Besides, comboing to this is fun. Completely off. I say that and then I completely blow the combos. Blarg. Yeah, I just figure there's no point in cutting stuff out at this point because we're almost done with this episode. Let me guess, there's another freaking Yeti that's gonna come down here. God, fruit. Um, you know what? I'm gonna be safe because I should. I'm gonna have her use fire beta, why not? Things sure are hitting a lot harder now in this game. God damn. Mm. We're gonna beta him. Does anybody else need it? No, we're good. Okay, we definitely have to wrap things up here pretty soon. Please don't let another freaking Yeti come down. Yeah, I think I can avoid this one. Get away from me! No! I'm not cutting it out. <laughs> what is my computer doing, damn it? Sorry, I was too lazy to cut out battles this time, but I figure, you know, this isn't a really long area anyways. Lydia is a very kind person. We snowmen love Lydia. You seem like sweet snowmen. I'm gonna check what's down here. A present! I like presents. Cancer bracelet. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Wait, who got it? I wasn't paying attention. Not you. No, no, back, back, back. I think 
she picked it up, didn't she? We'll see. Nope, she didn't, so that means he's got it. And he can't wear it! Why does everyone have full inventory all the time? Fudge buggets. Mm. 20 HP! Fine, drink it. Hey, you need to get rid of some. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry, Salsa, but... I'm just gonna eat this. There, it had 5 HP of use. Fantastic. Okay, but no, I really love this area. The music and everything. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, why am I on him? Okay, here we go. Cancer bracelet. Yay. Good for her. And I think we're gonna leave it here. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of, um, Let's Play Mother 3. Why do you have the fever now? You know, I'm gonna run this off before the next one. Yes. So, in the next episode, we'll head further up Snowcap mountain and uh, see what's waiting there for us. Apparently there's a Magipsy up there. They said Lydia, the snowmen, know her, so let's look forward to that, huh? I will see you next time. Bye bye